15th July, which is today, is recognized as World Youth Skills Day worldwide. This day is to make people aware about to develop skills in a youth generation. This day is celebrated every year to make the youth develop skills and make them aware of its benefits. Distinguished dignitaries and my dear fellow youth from all over the world, good morning to you all. I am Ayush Chopra, a high school student from Canada. I would like to thank Dr. Minakshi for giving me this great opportunity to work together with you. I am here today to share the voice of youth on this platform as I strongly support nothing about youth without youth. My journey to the human rights and sustainable development goals started early when I was 12 years old. I saw children who were less privileged working and supporting their parents instead of going to school. I myself was a child, yet I could see the desire in them to learn and grow. I got the chance to impact one such family and that changed the life of one girl child. It was then the passion for child rights and human rights got seeded in me. With this passion in my heart and soul, I founded the platform SDGs for Children. It is a unique platform for children across the globe to connect, create, and collaborate for a better and sustainable world. The vision of my organization is to take SDGs to each child in each corner of the world because I believe that unless we know them, we can't achieve them. My experience organizing the collaborations has been life-changing. Now I know how to create content on social media to engage other kids with different cultures across the globe. I was invited to represent India when I was 15 years old as the Indian Youth Ambassador at the United Nations headquarters in New York. My speech on human rights at the United Nations received a standing ovation from the distinguished gathering. I have authored the book, Shaping a Fairer World with SDGs and Human Rights. The book graphically represents the information about sustainable development goals and human rights with engaging design and artwork. The book is now being used as a daily reference guide for teaching United Nations SDGs in many of the global classrooms. I also have my podcast, Shaping a Fairer World. The podcast is an attempt to connect educators, students, parents together and to share their voices and unheard stories across the globe. However, I am not special. There are hundreds and thousands of youth-led organizations that are working towards a better future. The children leading such initiatives are all incredible teenage activists. Zero Hours, Sunrise Moments, Fridays for Future, School Strikes for Climate are just a few of many organizations that take our concerns to the leaders worldwide. We, the young world changers, are noisy and we can completely change the conversation. We are sharing our emotional sides when we are writing essays, doing rallies, interviews, or strikes, or even speaking at platforms like this. It's next to impossible to ignore our noisy voices. There are thousands of accounts spreading awareness and knowledge about youth empowerment. We are currently in the midst of global pandemic and the difficult times have made us realize that the being an entrepreneur is the most important skill. Any youth should have to sustain and fight all the challenge of employment. These skills must become part of basic education. I am sure Skills development can aid in the short-term need for the economic recovery and the recurrent urgency to transition to sustainable development. In the end, I I would like to give my message for today's youth. The voice of youth has many shades. With no fear in mind, it never fades. The voice of youth always stands together. No matter what, it faces even the toughest weather. The voice of youth can create long-lasting ripples. It creates miracles in the world, which else just cripples. The voice of youth never talks about hate. It writes the future. It manifests the fate. Let the voice of youth be free of change, free of chains, with no politics, no borders, and no pains. The world is struggling with the climate and the plastic wrappers. To bring the big change, it's the voice of youth that actually matters. 
Wish the voice of youth live forever and no one can dare to kill it ever. The voice of youth, you are my superhero. You are as important to this world as any zero. Thank you.